heard at golf tournaments or other alumni outings that Richard missed his calling. And that might be a natural reaction of someone who delighted in his humor repertoire. But missed his calling? Not a chance. For anyone who watched him play, there's a reason his banner hangs above you. There's a reason he played 685 games. There's a reason he scored 384 goals. This man knew his calling. He knew his job was to score goals. And he did it with regularity. Not always with finesse, but always with finality. That puck was going in by hook or by crook, come hell or high water. Intensity was the name of his game. Now, most of the stories you've heard about Rick are true, including the one regarding Ed Van Imp of the Philadelphia Flyers, the Broad Street bullies in those days. Van Imp used to give Martin a tough time. He laid on the lumber with relish every time he came down the wing. And then one night, and I was there, the late Pat Hannigan, who was a friend of Ed Van Imp and a former teammate of his, and was then a Sabres broadcaster, suggested that Rick fire the puck at Van Im's head. Eddie has a big head. So we all laughed about it. The next day, Rick did just that. <laughs> he missed, but boy, not by much. Message delivered, message received. By hook or by crook, come hell or high water. That was the serious side of Rick, his at-the-office demeanor. The other side, <laughs> boy, was it fun. We used to fly commercial in those days, no charters. And there was plenty of time to while away in airports. So the games began, from the toilet paper trailing out the back of his pants and unraveling as he walked down the concourse. To the disappearing $5 bills, Rick was a master of them all and an innovator. My favorite. To kill time waiting for luggage, the guys used to throw a buck each in the pot. First bag to show up, the owner got it all. And then there was the day with everybody waiting for the luggage to arrive. And then the baggage carousel began. Whose bag would be first? Uh, nobody's. Here comes Rico, lying on his back with his hands behind his head like this, going round and round and round. And all the travelers in the area, and there were a lot of them, were delighted. Airport security? Not so much. Would everybody here do me a favor, please? Would you look at the person next to you, either left or right, front or back, doesn't matter and smile, or laugh, or giggle. I mean it. Go ahead and do it right now. And then consider this, that maybe, just maybe, this earth is a better place for having been inhabited by Richard Lionel Martin. <laughs>